Uh, well, hello friends. Today, let's solve the reverse pairs problem. Let's first see the statement. Given an array numbers, we call i j an important reverse pair. If i less than j and the numbers i is greater than two times numbers j, you need to return the number of important reverse pairs in the given array. So, uh, what's the feature of this question? We just need to count the important reverse pair. And the constraint is that if i, the index of the i, or of the number i is less than index on number j, and the value of the number i is greater than two times the numbers j. So, um, if you are familiar with the sorting algorithms, I believe that you will think uh, of uh, uh, using some um, some help of the sorting algorithms. Because if you want uh, an array to be sorted, you need to swap them. So, if the uh, the number uh, come first is greater than the number come uh, next, you need to swap them, right? So, um, but in this question, uh, the, the preceding number should be greater than two times the following number. So it's just a little, a little bit of modification. Um, and, uh, if you are familiar with the merge sort, you will know the reverse pair is uh, actually a very common ap application of the merge sort algorithm. Because in the merge step, you can count the uh, reverse pair. And you just need to count the important reverse pair during the uh, merge part. So basically, this question is about uh, uh, using the merge sort as a technique to count this uh, reverse pair. So I hope you are familiar with merge sort. So, uh, so the steps will be very uh, straightforward to you. Mm, so let's start. But I think there are two things we need to pay attention to. The first thing is that we'd better not use a global variable. Because if we use a global variable, then it may not be the thread safe. So we, we'd better just use a return value to counter. Because in Java, we can, we pass the uh, function parameter by value, not by the reference. So we cannot uh, just pass a counter uh, in the function to get the count. This is one thing. Another thing is that uh, uh, you see the range of the integer. Because we need a 2 times 2, so we can not just uh, use integer to for the comparison. They make uh, they may cause integer overflow. So when we compare these two things, we need to convert them to long. So this is the two things we need to pay attention to. So let's get started. First is we get the n, which is the numbers of, which is the size of the numbers. Then we just uh, return the merge sort result. So let's think about what uh, the parameter of the merge sort. Well, we need the numbers, right? And uh, the core idea of the merge sort is divide the array to two parts and uh, keep dividing them to two parts until that uh, uh, the array only have one element. They are sorted and then we merge them. So we will uh, have the index of the start index and the end index, we name them low and high. So as you will see, this is actually a recursion function. So in the base case, so if the low is greater or equal than the high, we just return zero. What does this zero mean? Which means that there are basically zero re important reverse pair because we need to use a count 
to get the total important reverse pairs of this array. And we sum up the two parts of the merge sort result. It will be numbers and the low. And we need to get the middle. That will be low plus high minus low divide over 2. So that will be middle. And we will sum up the right part. That will be numbers, middle plus 1 and high. Also sum up the merge. Merge. And that will be numbers. Uh, how about the merge function? We need to parse the low and the middle and the high. To finally just return this count. So let's fill this uh, uh, merge function. We'll parse the numbers and we need the low, middle, high. And uh, what does this mean? Basically, they divide, they just divide the numbers uh, into two parts. The low, from low to the middle is basically the first part of the array. And the second part of the array is from the middle plus one to the high. And we just need to merge the two sorted part. And we need a count in this place. At first it is zero. And uh, because we need to merge these two parts in the numbers, so we cannot just modify the uh, original array. So we need an extra array to uh, record the sorted numbers. So the size should be the high minus low plus one. And we need an index to mark the place in this uh, array, right? So we first uh, do the count thing, but we need uh, two points to a record place in the first array and the second array, right? So we need a P start from the low and a Q start from the middle plus one. This part we just took out the important reverse pair. So when the P is great, uh, less than the low, less or equal than low, and the Q less or equal than the high, we compare. If the numbers P is great than two times numbers Q, we know we need to add sum up, right? But but how many pairs can we get? We can get middle minus p plus one. Why? Because this uh, you should notify that these two array are basically sorted. So, for example, if it is one, three, two for the first part of the array, and the second part is one, two. So you find the 2 is greater than 2 times this 1. You will know the following elements of this 3 will also be greater than 2 times Q because they are sorted, right? So uh, all the following elements should be greater than the current uh, numbers Q. So we need to sum up this place. That will be the middle minus Q, uh, minus P plus 1, and we move Q forward. If not the okay, case, we just move P forward. OK. So in this place, we have count all the important reverse pairs. But you should pay attention to that. We should com convert them to long in case the integer overflow. So we convert them to long. OK. The next part is just a classical merge part. So then we'll, we just uh, reset the p to the low and the q to the middle plus one and the p less or equal than low. Oh, sorry, this is not low, this will be middle because it's the end index, right? So the middle and the q less or equal than the high. And if the numbers, if the numbers p is greater than numbers q, the a index plus plus will be numbers. Q plus plus because we will choose the uh, lesser uh, the smaller element right this index means the place in the 
sorted array A. So there will be A index plus plus will equal to numbers P plus plus. Okay, so if uh, there still have some elements P less than middle, we just let A index index <laughs> plus plus equal to the numbers P plus plus. The same if the Q less than the high, we let A in index plus plus equal to numbers Q plus plus. So in the end, do not forget to uh, modify the value of numbers to the A because now the array A is sorted, but the numbers not sorted. We should copy the value of the A to the numbers. So we use the system array copy. The source array will be the A start index is 0. Destination array is numbers. Start index is no. And the uh, length will be high minus low plus 1, right? Finally, we just return the count. OK, so I think I finished. Oh, sorry, we haven't filled this part. Uh, that part will be the numbers 0 and n minus 1. 